So we're really interested in trying to understand the immune response to malaria. So up to a third of the world's population is at risk of malaria and each year there's 200 million cases recorded and approximately half a million deaths. Over the past um, decade there have been major gains in reducing the burden of malaria globally and some countries are edging closer towards elimination. A recent major finding from our work has been identifying how the immune system combats malaria, what it specifically targets and how it clears infection. If we're wanting to design a vaccine, we need to think strategically about how we can do this. So if we know what type of response is desired, we can therefore engineer a vaccine so that it will promote this type of response really strongly and it will be more effective than the candidates that we currently have available, which are only about 30% effective. A lot of malaria research has been focused in Africa uh, because uh, most of the deaths that are seen are actually in African countries but it is now widely accepted that Plasmodium vivax causes significant morbidity. So areas outside Africa are also quite affected. So I try to look how people develop immunity against Plasmodium vivax and how that information can be used to develop vaccines. My main area of research on malaria is to try and develop new tools to uh, prevent malaria, or at least to better diagnose it. Uh, the problem with malaria at the moment is that the uh, prevalence of malaria is decreasing, which is fantastic, but it means that it's getting harder to detect it. So most of our work is based in, in Papua New Guinea with rural villages who are most at risk of malaria. One of our studies is, is heavily focused uh, on looking at the burden of infections in pregnant women. We have good treatment, we have good interventions, but it's very difficult to identify the population who most need them. The current tools that we have to detect infected people are not uh, adequate. One of the biggest recent achievements that I've been involved in is you know, a body of work uh, in Papua New Guinea where we've been able to take um, an intervention from trial phase um, right through to programmatic implementation. If we're going to eliminate malaria in the coming decades, we'll need new drugs in order to eliminate the parasite. In anticipation of current drugs being or resistance increasing the current drugs, we're trying to develop new drugs at the moment. If we are able to identify new targets that we can develop new drugs to um, and get these into the, the clinical pipeline, um, then hopefully we should be able to improve disease outcomes. We've been able to uh, better define the workings of the parasite that enables it to uh, put a whole heap of proteins um, and, and factors on the surface of the, the cells that it infects. People are just really interested in making a difference. You know, it's not just people doing science, we do it because we love it, but people who are really keen on making a difference in the places where we work in. So I think that excites me more than anything else.